Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful poncho. Now you saw the photographs at the beginning and I'll put some more on at the end of this on my mannequin. Now look at this, this is so pretty. I've done it in that mini waffle stitch. I did a blanket and a mini waffle stitch and I love it, it's only two stitches. I used this ice yarn and this one is Magic Glitz. I'll leave a link in the bottom to an eBay seller that actually sells this and packs of four. What I did was I used a large hook for this. I used a UK 7mm hook. Now if you use a large hook, you will get this beautiful open lace. Now this is 28 rounds that I did for this. Now once I was finished, what I didn't do on the video was I did one round of treble crochet all the way around this. I didn't do any corners, just to give it a nice collar around like this. I've done it so it's got this nice rounded collar once I did the triangle on it and it's really pretty. You don't have to do that but it's up to you. You can do more on there if you want and I'll show you also at the end how to make these really pretty easy little tassels that I've got hanging from the end of it. Now the sample that I'm going to do is going to be smaller. Now what I did with this, in the triangle shape, I did 35 stitches along each edge and I did an extra one for my corners. So I did 35 stitches. You can make it bigger if you want or you can make it smaller. So you can just adjust this to whatever you want and this little stitch is absolutely beautiful the one thing i need to point out is every time you do a round and you join and close off the round you have to turn your work this is fully reversible look at this it's fully reversible this little poncho it's absolutely beautiful it's amazing. I love it. Actually, it's the first time I've actually done a poncho and I absolutely love it. It's really pretty. So it's a two stitch repeat on the pattern. It's really easy. The one thing you do have to remember is when you close off the round, you have to turn your work. Turn your work and so that you can keep the pattern going. I'll explain that as I do it. So I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful, beautiful three-pointed poncho. This ice yarn. Now it tells you to use a four a UK 4mm or a 4.5, I'm going to use a 6. I'm going to use two sizes bigger. You can't get a 6.5, so I'm going to use a 6. To get that lacy effect on this little mini waffle stitch pattern, you have to do it in a larger hook. So whatever yarn you use, then use your hook either use your hook about two sizes bigger it comes out nice and lacy now the adult one that i just showed you had 35 stitches the triangle here this is what how i did it in a triangle i've got a corner up here and then i did 35 stitches down to the next corner i did 35 stitches across and then did the next corner and then another 35 and I was back at this corner. So each stretch in between the corners had 35 stitches to begin with. Now this one I'm only going to do 20. I'm going to do a smaller size for a younger child. And that is how you adjust this. As long as it goes over the child's head, you can have the number in between your corners, whatever you want it to be. 
So I'm going to chain one. That is my first corner. That's going to be my first corner when I join my circle. I'm going to chain 20 stitches. So you'll chain whatever you want in between your corners. So I'm going to do 20 for this young child size. That's one, two, three, four. So I've done my chain of 20. I'm going to chain one more. Now that one is going to be my next corner. So I'm going to put a stitch marker. You can either use stitch markers like this. You can use a bright piece of coloured yarn or you can use a pin. These little stitch markers. I'm going to pop that into that stitch. I'll put my hook back and then I'm going to crochet another 20. So I did 20 chains and then I did one extra and made mark that for my corner. So I'm going to do another 20. That's one, two, three. So I've done another 20. I'm going to chain one. That is going to be my next corner. We need three corners. So this bottom stitch is corner one. This is corner two and this one's corner three. Now, if you want to do this poncho in a square, then do one more set. You'll do one more corner. You'll have four corners. I'll put my hook back in. And I'm going to do another 20 stitches. One, two, three, four, five. So I've done my next 20. Now, if you want to do your poncho as a square, you'll do one more stitch and mark that as your corner and do another 20. So you have four corners. Now, I'm only doing a diamond shape. I'm doing a triangle. And this is what my triangle is going to be like. So what I'm going to do is straighten my chain out. Straighten it all out. There we go. And I'm going to slip stitch into that first stitch in my chain. Slip stitch into there. Get my working yarn. And just slip stitch through to join my circle. And that is my first corner. That one that I've just slipped into is my first corner. So now we'll chain three. We're going to do our first corner of the neck. Chain three. One, two, three. That's your first treble crochet. Now into that stitch that we slipped into, I'm going to put another treble crochet. That's two. I'm going to chain two. One, two. And put two more treble crochets into this corner. That's one and two. So that's your first corner. Every corner will get two treble crochet, two chain and two treble crochet. The 20 stitches that we've got here before our next corner, you're going to put one treble crochet into every stitch. So you should have 20. Don't count the two that's in your corner here. So we're going to put one treble crochet into each stitch in our chain. All the way to the other corner, the other marker. 20 stitches from my corner to the next marker. I'm going to take the marker out and I'm going to put a corner in 
where this marker is. I won't need it, but you can keep it and put it back in once you've done your corner. So into my next stitch, I'm going to put two treble crochets, one and two. I'm going to chain two, one, two, and two more treble crochets. This is going to make my corner. So every time you're at a corner, you'll put two treble crochet, two chain, and two treble crochet into the chain space of the corner. So now I'm going to work along my 20 stitches to my other marker. One treble crochet into each stitch. So I'm at my next marker. I'm going to take my marker out. Take this marker out. Now into the stitch where the marker was, I'm going to put two treble crochets, two chain and two treble crochets. That's one and two. Two chain, one, two and two treble crochets. One and two. Now I'm going to work 20 treble crochets along to the end here. And that's me back at the corner. Don't count those two stitches in your 20. You should have 20 stitches from here to here. So we'll do one treble crochet into every stitch along. Now remember the stitch right beside your corner. It might disappear and get squashed. But remember and do it. So remember and count your stitches. It's one. We're going along here and we'll do our 20 stitches. Now you can make this number as many as you like. Chain of three, you're going to slip stitch to the top of your chain of three. Just slip stitch into that top chain. Now you're going to slip stitch into your corner. Just slip stitch so that you're starting inside this corner. And this is what we have. You've got your triangle. Now it will be, it will stretch, as you can see, it, it is stretchy, so it will go over a child's head. You're going to chain three, one, two, three. Now that is the first chain of your corner. So we're going to put one more treble crochet into this corner, two chain, one, two, and two treble crochet. That's your first corner done. Now the pattern is a front post treble crochet and a treble crochet on the next stitch. So you're going to work around the post. This is the post of the stitch. This long line here. This long line. That is the post in your stitch. So yarn over and go around that post go in around the back so the stitch is on the front of your crochet hook yarn over and pull through now pull it up a little bit yarn over and through your two loops yarn over and through your two loops that's you done your front first front post stitch and that's your corner there so the next stitch you're just going to do a treble crochet then you're going to work around the post of the next stitch. And that's what the pattern is. A front post stitch and a treble crochet. A front post stitch and a treble crochet. So the next stitch is a treble crochet. Now don't be tempted to go in right beside that front post. You've got to go into the top of the next stitch for your treble crochet. Then one around the post, your front post stitch. So 
So we'll just call it a post stitch just to make it easy when we're going along the pattern. Then a treble crochet into the next stitch. Then a front post stitch. And a treble crochet into the next stitch. Now make sure that you're going over to the next stitch, not that one right there. Post stitch. And a treble crochet all the way to the next corner. The top of that stitch. So into the corner space, two treble crochets, two chain and two treble crochets into this corner. That's one and two. Two chain, one, two and two treble crochets. Now that completes that side. We'll do the same up to the other corner. So we'll start with our front post treble crochet. So I'm at my corner again and I'm going to put my two treble crochets, my two chain and my two treble crochets. So chain two and put two treble crochets. In. And we're going to work our way along the last line. Get that tail out of the way. I need to sew that in. It's <laughs> so we're doing a front post, a treble crochet, a front post, a treble crochet, a front post, and a treble crochet all the way to the end. And you'll slip stitch to the top of this chain. Don't work these two just now. You're going to slip stitch to the top of this chain. So we'll do a front post and a treble crochet. The next stitch around the post on the next stitch and then a treble crochet into the next stitch all the way along. So we've done the last one. Remember your last treble crochet in the top. So we're going to slip stitch into the top of this chain of three to finish this round. Now it doesn't matter if you start your row with a front post or a treble crochet. It's up to you which one you start with. And this is what you get. So what we're going to do now is we're going to slip stitch into this corner piece here. So just slip stitch along and start in this corner. Keep starting. If you always start in the corner, you'll have a nice straight edge. If you start in the corner, you won't get lost with your pattern. And this is what we have. That's my little corner piece, my little tail end. And this is what you get. And as you can see, it's quite stretchy as well. And it's perfect for a child, this 20 stitches. If you want to do this for an adult, I did 35 in between. What I'm going to do now is what you have to do to keep this pattern symmetrical turn your work you have got to turn your work now what you're going to do now is you are going to do a front post a treble crochet a front post and a treble crochet now these are your front post stitches you can see them because they're closer to you here and this is what you've got to keep the pattern you've got to keep a front post on a front post and a treble crochet on a treble crochet. Now you're going to chain three. One, two, and three. Now in to this corner, we're going to build our corner first. We're going to do one more treble crochet. We're going to chain two, one, two, and put two treble crochets in 
to build this corner. Now don't worry because it's gone around there. So now we're going to do a front post, then a treble crochet and a front post and a treble crochet. Just keep the pattern the way that we've been doing it. So we're going to do a front post, then a treble crochet into the next stitch. Just find the top of that stitch. Push your hook through. It might be a little stiff because that's the one that we slip stitch through to get to the corner. We're going around the next post. Do your front post stitch and then a treble crochet into the next stitch. And then a front post stitch. And then a treble crochet all the way along. Front post and then treble crochet. So you start every row the same. So you can keep it in this little mini waffle stitch pattern. You can see it's starting to appear on this side and it'll be fully reversible. Front post. Then treble crochet into the next stitch. Front post. And then treble crochet all the way along to your next corner. You'll do your increase in this corner. Two treble crochet, two chain, two treble crochet. Then work your front post and treble crochet, front post, treble crochet all the way along. You'll do your corner and then do your front post treble crochet and then a treble crochet into the top of the next one all the way along to the end. So I'll do a few more with you and then I'll come back once I've got all the way around. So I'm back to the beginning. And I've done my front post and treble crochets. And this is what it looks like. So I'm going to slip stitch to that chain of three that we did to the top of it. Count one, two and three stitches. And we're going to slip stitch into the top to close that round off. And then into that one. Tighten it up a little bit. Now I'm going to slip stitch into the corner. So just go through this stitch here and slip stitch along into this corner part here. It's a lot easier if you start in a corner. Now the one thing, the one thing I have to stress is you have to turn your work and turn your work you've got to turn it if you don't turn it you'll just end up with big long lines down your work it won't look like the mini waffle stitch it's when you turn it and you're working along this is what makes the edge of a turn it that way that you can see that raised edge on your work and this is what and this is what my triangle looks like now. So don't worry about it beveling out like that. Once you've been working on it and it all straightens out, it will be fine. So we're at this corner. We're going to chain three. One, two, three. Now into the corner, you're going to do your next increase corner. So chain one, do one more treble crochet. Chain two, one, two, and two treble crochets. That's your first corner done. Now we're just going to follow the pattern all the way along. Front post, treble crochet, front post, treble crochet, front post, treble crochet. Now you can clearly see your front posts are at the front, and that's where you do a front post. Always do a front post on the front post and your treble crochet 
the top stitch on yarn one that's further back. Front post, treble crochet, front post. And that will keep your pattern. So every row, if you start with a front post, a treble crochet, you should meet up with your front post over here, even though we're increasing. As long as you've increased correctly. <laughs> so yarn over and we're going to do our front post treble crochet. And then a treble crochet into the top of the next stitch. Now that might be just a little bit difficult because this is where we slip stitch to get over to that corner, remember. So treble crochet, then front post. And that will start you back on the top of your pattern. Treble crochet and front post. You can clearly see your front post is closer to you. So keep your front post on top of the front post. And around that post for your front post treble crochet. Then a treble crochet into the top of the next one. And around the post of the next one. All the way around. And every time you get to your point, you'll put your corner in. Two treble crochet, two train, two chain and two treble crochet. And then work your front post, treble crochet, front post, treble crochet, front post all the way along. When you join your round, when you get all the way around to here, you'll join at the top of your chain of three. Slip stitch across into your point, into the point of your triangle and turn your work. You've got to turn it. If you don't turn it, the pattern won't come out looking like the mini waffle. And this is a really, really pretty, pretty I need to cut my little end off. I sewed that tail end in. It was really annoying me. And I've left a little bit. I'll need to tuck that in. So you're going to work your way a lot around. This is what it looks like. I'll tuck that tail in. So this is how it's going to be looking. That is really annoying me, that little tail. And this is how your triangle will work. You'll go around and around for as many rows as you want. Please don't ask how many rows to do. I don't know. I don't know how tall your child is. I think up to maybe about 10 year old this size. And this is 20 stitches. So if you want it for a teenager, I would do 25 stitches each side and 35 for an adult. I did 35 for mine. Now I'll go and I'll get my other one that I showed you right at the beginning. I'll show you that and I'll show you how to do tassels. I'll do, so all you have to do is continue around and around, increasing at your three corner points and doing your front post, a treble crochet, a front post, a treble crochet, a front post, all the way on your straight edges. All the way around and as you work you're working your two new stitches that you've done on that previous round you'll do a treble crochet and you'll do a front post and a treble crochet do your corner then start with a front post a treble crochet and a front post all the way around you'll just keep doing that around and around until you are happy with the size of it but I'll show you the adult one that I've got. I'll go and I'll get that. So I'm just going to use the width of my hand and wrap the yarn around. Just keep wrapping it until it's as thick as you think you need it. I'm going to get my scissors and just cut that off. Now you'll need a needle as well. Take it off your hand. Now in the middle, you, what you're going to do with the piece that you cut, pull it through a couple of times and wrap it around. Just for about an inch. 
once you've got about an inch or two inches done just fold it in half fold it in half like this and then wrap around the top once you wrap it around want to secure it secure it with a knot now you'll hear muttly in the background because the children are next door are outside playing in the snow and then just pull that tight you can wrap it around again make another loop put your yarn through just to make a knot to secure it so that's going to secure it you can put it on a darning needle and you can stitch it in now what you're going to do is you're just going to cut through these loops here cut through all your loops smooth it out and trim it so it's all nice and neat and to get some sharper scissors and there you go that you made a little tassel now just get another piece of yarn and put it through the middle of there and then put it through the point the last point of your poncho that you've made and that's what i did i just put it on with a little longer piece of thread you can mess around with these till you get them nice and neat but that is basically how i made the tassels for this so around the top of the poncho I put one round around the collar. You can put more on it if you want and make it fancy. It's up to you. But just remember, when you join your round, turn your work. And it's a treble crochet, a front post on top of a front post, and your treble crochet in with your treble crochet. If you remember that, you'll get your waffle stitch pattern completely correct all the time and it is so pretty so this was the little child size now this one around the neck is 35 stitches this one was 20 stitches so you just keep doing that pattern until it's as big as you want it so this one is 28 rows and i think for a child maybe 15 or up to 20 it's up to you you'll have to judge it i don't know what size the child is or the amount of rows you'll have to judge for yourself so for a small child i would say this would fit from maybe a two-year-old up to maybe an eight-year-old and if you want a bigger one then add more stitches the adult one is 35 and this one is 20 so if you went maybe 25 or even 30, I think it would do a teenager as well. So it's up to you. So remember and watch for those photographs of this on my mannequin. And you'll see what it looks like. It does look much better on the mat. You can see it better on the mannequin. So thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Please help me get up to 200,000 subscribers before February the 14th, before Valentine's Day. That would be amazing. And if you click on the bell icon, then YouTube will tell you when I put up another tutorial. So until the next time, happy crafting and stay safe, everyone.